Okay, Hatbar Horsham, here's an arpeggiation version of uh, of Blown in the Wind. Um, that um, since it's four four song, I don't want to leave you with Silent Night, which is three four, which is a little a little different because it's a three four song. Most songs that you're on count you encounter are going to be four four. So you play. Uh, This is just for technique, so you know how that song chord that song goes. And the reason I stop there basically is that uh, I, I give you the cheat uh, chords. Uh, there's a couple chords that you have trouble making, and we'll work them in on ensuing lesson on this. But right now, I just want you to go one and two and one and two and same thing that we did in Silent Night, except I'm not finishing. No, it's not a three four, so I don't have to you know do that little extra stuff at the end. I'm just going string four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. And you would sing it the same way. How many roads must a man walk down before they call him a man? So I'm doing the very same stuff there. And it's just for technique, just to practice that. Four, three, two, one. And then on to a G, I'm coming up here to the six, three, two, one. And then the A, five, and then three, two, one. And it's all just for the practice to get that down so that your fingers work together. string four, thumb string three, index string two, and middle finger string one. Up here, same thing, except I'm hitting this bass at string six, fret three, and then I'm just coming down to three, two, one. It, you can do it other ways. I'm just giving this as a uh, you know, try to try to master that so you get a little control over your fingers. And you know, you don't have to play a song, just go back and forth on a D chord and then a G chord, back to a G, back to a G, just so that you get that little pattern in your head. And um, we'll extend this a little more in an ensuing video. Okay, have fun with it, and uh, now we'll give you a song that's actually used in. All right.